Another amazing thing about this soap is that they float. I hope they float. I turn my ugly and unsmelling soaps for such a beautiful bar with nice smooth texture with great smell. It's an amazing way how to turn your old and ugly soap into something beautiful and useful again. My new slow cooker arrived last week because <laughs> Like many of us, I have a lot of leftovers. They are left over from planing, beveling edges. I also have one soap here that hardened so quickly after adding the fragrance that I didn't even bother to mold it because it was so fast. It's perfectly fine. I closed this soap in plastic box so that it wouldn't dry out too much and there it waited for its next fate. <laughs> this is how you can process any soap that have lost their scent or change color or you just don't like them. But it has to be fine. This is not rebatch. When you forgot to add some oils, this is only from ugly soaps. <laughs> you can grate the soap by hand on a grater or in a robot if you have one. I have these attachments for my KitchenAid, so I will use those because it will be quicker. Also, I think that the finer, greater, the better. I also made these balls. <laughs> they are beautiful, but I have so many. I already made planet soap. You can Put them in soap strainer. I don't know how you call this thing, but I very like it. You can add some balls inside and use like this. And I think this look very pretty. I want to choose pretty colors because if you Melt it down red and green. You ended up with ugly colors. So maybe I use those two and we ended up with nice colors. First, I maybe try this finer one and we'll see. <laughs> These are beautiful, beautiful. I greeted a kilo of white soap and 250 grams of green soap. The pot <laughs> looks very full, but once we start heating the soap, it will shrink and you can add more if you want. Here I have 200 grams of water in which I dissolve dried goat's milk. I don't have access to fresh one. I will add this gradually and we'll see how liquid the soap will be and also, I will set the temperature on the pot 
to low setting and I will occasionally mix, stir and check. I will start with maybe half. I never try it. I am looking forward to see how everything <laughs> turn out. I want floating soap. Twenty minutes pass. I am tempted at more liquid <laughs> but I don't want maybe just a little just add a little liquid to the grated soap so it's dissolved better but not too much otherwise the soap would have to dry longer it would be gooey and it wouldn't come out of the mold easily I think so it's better to add in parts little by little because as you can see it loosen up and you can add coconut or goat's milk i think yogurt water a lot of depends on how fresh the soap is for older soaps more liquid will be needed than for fresh soaps. I saw that also add sodium lactate to the grated soap so that the soap can be removed better. However, I don't have lactate so I add only liquid. This looks great. I like it. I cooking this 40 minutes still on the low setting. Also I prepare my piping bag because I want piping my top. It's become liquidy. Still a lot of undissolved pieces. So we will continue. Time to check our soap. Ooh. I still see a few chunks. This looks pretty. Maybe it's time to whip it. This is beautiful. <laughs> I have few scents to choose from. They are amazing, but I am afraid to use them in the cold process soap. So it doesn't speed the trays. I don't mind in there. So I will try use them. I think that I add a little bit mica. I have this gorgeous lime. Do not add any other oils because soap is already saponified and it the mass would be greasy. When the soap is dissolved I want to whip it with hand mixer 
because I want floating soap for my nieces. It will be fun when the soap is swimming in their bathtub. I can wait. Anyway, I very like this idea of making leftovers and ugly soap because I don't like waste such expensive ingredients. It's time to add my fragrance. I am using only 2%. You can do this without gloves, but <laughs> I made lunch with fresh curcuma and my hands are yellow. <laughs> and I don't want to bother you with my orangish yellow hands, so... I am using gloves. Maybe just... This is gorgeous color. I think this is done. <laughs> me, 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 me. Maybe one mold is enough. Okay. I tap it down. And to rest, I will try pipe. This is 2D button. Yeah, it's pretty. Wow, this is fun. It's already clock, clock some mm, holes. Oh, yeah. Uh oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we are done. Interesting method. <laughs> okay, see you later for cutting. There is the soap two days later. I don't have time to cut it. Also, it was quite soft. Maybe I add too much liquid. It has <laughs> holes. Okay, the top is... Mm, I like the scent, the color, and I hope it will float, which is the reason I want to make this soap. The texture is great. I like it smooth. Wow. 
This is pretty. It has some bubbles, maybe because of the <laughs> bubbles, it will float better. <laughs> it was fun project. I am glad that I leave the soap with one soft color. It's gentle. Another amazing thing about this soap is that they float. I hope they float. Float! <laughs> This is fun. You never lose your soap in your bathtub again. <laughs> this is fun. They actually really float. Yeah. Amazing leather, creamy. This was fun. <laughs> Stop me.